Hey guys, thank you for joining in the video today. We are disassembling our chicken tank and we are going to be converting the bottom half of our chicken tank into two chicken brooders. So stick with us in today's video as we prepare for 55 broiler chicks coming in a few weeks. Another trip without a truck. One of these days, one of these days, Flat Gap Farm will have a truck. <laughs> Let's unload it. It's a little bit windy today, um, but unloaded all the plywood, and that's for the surround area, the walls of the brooder. Uh, two by fours, which we're going to split down. They are not pressure treated because they're not going to be outside uh, getting wet. Also picked up a Craftsman 20 volt. These are on sale for $39 at Lowe's. Unbelievable price because they're normally like 119. Uh, got me an angle grinder and some more half inch, 50 foot long chicken mesh. Now we're gonna cut this bad boy in half and that's gonna make the two individual brooders. Always lift with your legs. All right, so the wood is cut. Now we're gonna let our new angle grinder charge overnight, and then that's gonna allow us to cut straight through that uh, chicken netting so much easier. And yes, I know you're thinking, why not just go ahead and cut through it with the reciprocating saw, but we needed an angle grinder, and what guy doesn't wanna get a new tool every once in a while? So have never had one, I've always wanted one. This is the perfect project for us to get one and test it out. So. Don't be hating on me. Well, good morning. It's day two. Uh, getting our coffee brewing here uh, to start the day. Uh, also made some cinnamon rolls. My crock pot going with some ribs. And I know, woo! Ribs are mainly for smoking, but there's a really cool crock pot recipe for ribs. So we're giving it a try. All this is going to be uh, cooking for about six to eight hours. When we're finished working today, we're going to come in and that's going to be uh, a late lunch, early dinner. But man, had this dream all night last night that I was a muffler and I woke up exhausted. <laughs> all right, let's go to work. All right, day two. I've already started. Um, I started the day off with a really bad joke, but also I started cleaning out in the garage area and I'm sparing you all that extra stuff because we want to get to the build. But unfortunately, you don't know the space that you need, things change. So we're having to take out some more shelving. You remember the video we made with the storage? That's coming in uh, very handy, but now we've got to take this down because it's gonna be 10 feet across. Garage is cleared out. Now, we get to use our new tool today, the angle grinder. So here we go. And now that we've got it cut in half, these are 18 inches across, five feet, in length and that's exactly what we've got our plywood cut 18 and then we're going to cut it into five feet pieces five foot pieces
And I have to tell you, this is the part of like homesteading and repurposing that I love. We took a project that didn't work uh, for what we needed it for, but instead of getting rid of it, you recycle it, you reuse it. And so we're taking all that extra wood that's right behind me and we're essentially building this for very minimal cost. I mean, we had to buy, buy the plywood, we had to buy a few two by fours, but other than that, the structure's already made and that is, that's just awesome. And there is the first one, just the framing of it. Still got a few things we need to do as far as enclosing it, but it gives you just a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. It looks like this is gonna be a good height. Um, didn't want it to be too high, so we can't bend over and get the chicks and do other things. So I've got it about 14 inches off the ground plus the 18 for the brooder height and that puts the total legs at 32 inches and that seems to be a manageable height. So now that we've got the first one roughly framed out, let's go build the second one. And there's your two brooders side by side. Again, these are three and a half feet deep by five feet wide. So that gives us a total of 10 feet long. Now that we've got the foundation built, we're gonna be building uh, the top portion, which is gonna be um, the, the chicken netting. It's also gonna hold the lights. It's gonna hold the waterers, the feeder, things like that. Now we're going to be using the table saw to rip down the two by fours in half. Right now I'm just helping to frame out the brooder where the plywood meets, it needs to have a little bit of structure to it. There we added the two by fours that we ripped down the middle just to give the frame a little bit more stability. And when we attach the top portion, it'll have something to rest on. Now let's begin the second part of this and rip down all these two by fours that are gonna be for the top portion of the brooder. Next part of that is I'm cutting these 20 and a half inches long and that's gonna split the difference and make them roughly 24 inches. Now we're going to connect those ripped down two by fours to make the top portion of the brooder. And repeat the same process for the second brooder.
now hopefully it's starting to come together a little bit better. Uh, you can see the back portions where it's going to support. And now I'm going to cut the middle section. Um, it's a little bit of math, just trying to finagle because it's, again, repurposed and reused items. So it's not going to be uh, perfect as if you were making it for the first time. Maybe a little bit hard to see this, but this is one of those angles where I just laid the piece of wood up against it to get the angle. And then all I did was I just traced it right there to give me the angle because it's such a, an, a steep angle. I didn't want to miscalculate, so I just traced it. Let's go find out if I did it correct. Woohoo! Looks like it's going to fit. Next part we're going to be working on is the door. This part is going to hinge up at the top and then open up to be able to get inside the brooder. On the edge and then it's going to lift with hinges. So just a couple more steps and we'll be done. Well, I think this is a good place to stop for today. Uh, it's getting late in the evening and I've got those ribs that are in the crock pot. So I'm gonna go eat dinner. We're gonna finish this up tomorrow. So stick with us. Uh, day three should wrap up everything. We're going to be putting the uh, chicken netting on the uh, entire structure. We're going to be putting the bottom on it for the, the floor for the chicks. And we'll be finishing things up. So hang in there. We're almost done. Ooh. We brawled them for about five minutes. They're ready to eat. Well, it's day three. It always seems to take twice as long as, as you plan on it, but that's okay. It's about finishing it, and today that's our job is to finish it. Uh, we're gonna be putting in the bottom to the chicken brooder and also wrapping it in half inch hardware cloth or chicken wire, chicken mesh, whatever you wanna call it, uh, but it's the half inch. So let's get this build finished today. Since the uh, chicken tank, chicken tractor um, has the mesh bottom, we're actually gonna put a little bit of insulation down at the bottom uh, this will all be covered with plastic, and then we'll put wood chips on top. Uh, this will help us so at the end, we can just pick up uh, the plastic. Uh, then we can take it to our compost bin and use the uh, leftover chicken poop and all the uh, wood shavings for compost. <music> And here's just a brief tip. These are actually uh, billboard signs. Uh, we contacted a local company. They were getting rid of them. He said, come on out. Uh, just make sure you don't flip them over and advertise because when helicopters fly above, uh, they could get in trouble. But they were just throwing them away and said, hey, help yourself. So we have tons of this leftover billboard vinyl and we use them for tarps so we're going to use it as the base of our chicken brooder that way when the the shavings go on it all the chicken poop mess we just scoop it right up dump it in our compost bin there you go it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it definitely works and it was free. 
time to cut and put on the hardware cloth. up the hardware cloth chicken wire chicken mesh um, I'm gonna actually cut this with some tin snips because I don't want to use my angle grinder in here uh, with the plastic and everything I just don't want to create any issues so we're just gonna go the old-school way and cut it with the uh, some tin snips And that's the final touches to the brooder. Put the handle on it, getting ready to add some wood shavings to it. And this brooder is just about done. And there you have it, guys. Our chicken brooder is complete. I just put in some uh, wood shavings just to fill it in and help um, smooth out and flatten out the plastic that's at the bottom. But there you go. Uh, took an old chicken tank, chicken tractor, converted it into a brooder. And I think what sets us apart is this top portion. Uh, I think it gives us a lot more height than what we had at our old brooder, uh, which was free to us. But this is going to be a whole lot easier to get in and out. Uh, we can adjust the height of the waterer, the height of the feeder, and uh, also the heat lamp too. So excited about it. We've got our 55 chicks coming pretty soon, which means I've got to finish the second one. <laughs> but it will be done before um, all the broiler baby chicks get here in a few weeks. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video. That'll help with YouTube and getting our message out and, and sharing our videos with other people. So thank you guys for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next video. That's right. You tell them. <laughs>